Hello YouTube, Mr. Man here. Well, today I got a review of a flashlight for you. Um, this is kind of new for me to be doing flashlights, but this is the E2D Executive Defender by Surefire. Now, um, this video may be a little bit longer because I got a lot of stuff I want to talk about in here, so bear with me if you don't like long videos. Sorry about that, but anyway, let's uh, get into it. Um, so yeah, this is the Surefire E2D Executive Defender. This is the incandescent version. Um, not the LED, and uh, let me just read you the specs here. Um, the length is 4.90 inches long. Uh, bezel di diameter is one inches, so because that's around the uh, the bezel. Weight with batteries is 3.2 ounces, so not not that heavy at all. Um, and then batteries, it takes. You can screw this here. It takes two uh, CR12BA batteries or Yes, they are. Batteries says somewhere in here. Maybe. Hang on, where does it say it? Oh, well, actually, this is SF12PA, but I think that's because it's a Surefire brand. But they're lithium, uh, lithium batteries. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, um, get into it. it the, uh, the flashlight, oops, sorry, there we go. The, uh, the flashlight's made out of a anodized aluminum. It says uh, high strength aerospace aluminum body, mil spec hard anodized for extreme durability. So, this, uh, the body's aluminum, and uh, let's kind of work from the uh, the front down. Uh, what makes this light so special, I guess, or why I like it, is the front, it got a striking bezel on it. Now, this can be used for, um, like, uh, like self-defense and impact weapon, you know, hitting someone with it, and this would hurt, and especially if you get it in someone and twist, that really hurts, so, um, this would do a a really good job if uh, if you need this for like a self defense weapon, you know, a non lethal option. When let's say, oh, a knife like this <laughs> would, uh, you know, you don't need to use something quite like this for uh, for self defense. This would be a uh, a really good option. Um, so yeah, let's see. It got a pocket clip. It's uh, I guess I, <laughs> I don't know if exactly you could classify um, what do you call like uh. Like this is uh, tip up, tip down. You know how knives are. Like this, this is tip up carry. Um, I guess this would be considered tip up. I guess since the light rides up. Um, I'd almost prefer it the other way. Well, actually, I got my uh, quark here too, and both of these are set up the same way with the pocket clip. Uh, like I guess for tip up carry, just because the surefire that's the only way it can go. You can't really switch it around. So, um, so I, I guess. I, I hold in a holster like this, um, and I guess that's how I prefer it, although if I was carrying it in my pocket, I might want it the other way, so um, not to scratch up, like, so not to scratch up the front, but, um, you know, it would all be kind of, I guess, personal preference. Anyway, I on the front here, it says, caution, hot surface, because if you do have this on for a while, it will get hot, so you want to <laughs> be careful about that. Um, so, yeah, the body here got kind of some texture and don't know if you can see it that much. It doesn't seem to be extremely grippy, but I mean it's uh I mean it'll do something for you. ETD Executive Defender US Patent uh, 6547. Yeah, I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Uh, on the other side Surefire A265521. So that may be the um the product number or something. And then moving along to the back here you got the uh the back it looks kinda like the striking bezel although that wouldn't be to effect with a hit like that. Um, and you got your tail cap. This is momentary on, so you can lightly push like this without clicking, and you can flash the light if you just want to blink it really quick in someone's uh, face or just um, illuminate something really quick, or you can click it on, and then it'll stay on for you if you set it down or something. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. Um, I'll take the light apart in a second to show you the insides, um, <laughs> what little there is. But um, let's talk about the uh, the beam now. The beam, since it's incandescent, it's not quite the same as, let's say, the quark light. The quark is LED. This is incandescent. Now I'm blinding myself there. Um, so you can almost tell the quark, it's more white. This is more of a white light since it's an LED. And the surefire is more of like a yellow. Um, now, oh yeah, did I, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this. It's... um. It's 60 lumens, the uh, the light, and it got a runtime of like 75 minutes or so. I'm guessing on fresh batteries. Got some other ones over here. And now that's one little point I want to bring up. The Surefire, it seems like um, if you have 
if you run the batteries down, uh, like um, like let's say you're using a light or whatever, it won't really give you a warning. Like the light won't really go dim or anything. So that would be the one issue I'd have with it. Um, because if you did ever have to use this, you'd want to make sure. I don't use this as like an emergency light if you have it, and don't just go around flashing it like I do with my quark. This since this takes uh, this just takes double A or triple A. I forget. Oh yeah, double A. Um. Since this just takes AA batteries, um, you know, it's not really a problem to go find some somewhere, you know, like, they're not that hard to get. Um, but the Surefire, the 1-2P batteries are more expensive. Plus, I've heard that you can't use rechargeable in these lights, so just keep that in mind. Um, and also, there's a, there's a video on here um, on YouTube uh, from a guy named Cutlery Lover. Um, I'll put the, uh, the link in the description or I'll annotate it, like, right here, maybe. If I can do that, I don't know how uh, how to annotate stuff, and I'll try. So it should be here, hopefully. Um, but yeah, he got a video um, with some information on the uh, the one two P batteries. Really informative. Um, kind of some warnings on them not to mix old with new, and he explains everything. So I'll put the link um, either in the description box or I'll have it pop up there for you. And um, and then you can go watch it if you want. And uh, you know, because that, that's good. It'll kind of give you a little insight in the batteries. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that would be my problem with this because I, I don't want to pull this out and it's like, oh, it's dead. I want to pull it out and I got the light right there. So um, I pretty much keep fresh batteries in here. Uh, the ones I got in here are just kind of for playing around right now because uh, I'm not playing around. But if I just want to, you know, use the light at all. But, um, yeah, you know, that would blind you. But anyway, mm, well, this is 60 lumens. And the quark is, I believe... Someone wants me to say 200 and something. I don't know. This is this is ridiculously bright. But um, the difference is the type of quality of the light. See, the one's LED, the one's incandescent. So, I'm not saying that incandescent is bad. It's just this is just um 60 lumens. Um, and when I say just 60 lumens, it is a really bright light. I mean, I got a light on here, and you can still see the spot perfectly. I mean, and I I'm blinding myself with this right now. So, I say at night there I'd see no problem with um with uh, just 60 lumens. If you can get some higher, that would be better, but, you know, I'm, I'm rambling on here. Anyway, um, so, yeah, man, I got a spot in my eye now. <laughs> anyway, um, but, yeah, so it does have a nice beam, a nice bright beam. Um, so let's see here now. Uh, let me just show you the, um, kind of taking it apart. The Another complaint that I got here, too, is normal, not normal lights, but you unscrew the back, and then you can pop the batteries out. Not so with this one. This, it, um, I, I don't know if, there are interchangeable tail caps. I got this one, I'll show you in a second. Um, but this, in order to take the batteries out, oh yeah, and there's some grease on here. I don't know if you can see that. And I got the O-ring, so this is, this is waterproof to a certain, waterproofing O-ring and gasket sealing, it says. Um, so I don't know to what degree it's waterproof. All right, now, in order to take the batteries out, the front got to come off. Now, my slight problem with this is if you take the front off and tip the uh, the, the front bezel here. Oops, too much. Well, it should sooner or later. Hang on. See, my little issue here is the uh, the bulb can fall out. Now, just a quick look at the bulb here. I forget exactly what this is, uh, what type of bulb it is. Oh, hopefully I didn't just touch it. You're not supposed to touch these bulbs, I guess, because they can burn out. Um, here's a front. I don't know if there's any way to take this part off with the reflector. It seems to be on a really hard, but yeah. So in order to take the batteries out, you gotta take the front off. Now, if you were trying to swap batteries really quick, um, I could see where that would be an issue because um, you don't want your bulb falling out, and it's like, oh, let me get some new batteries in here. Oh, where did my bulb go? And it's on the ground. You step on it, and it's busted. But um, you know, a little complaint. If you keep fresh batteries, and that shouldn't happen. Um. I could see, you know, police or um, someone using this light. Oh, yeah, this video is going to run over because, well, up there's my clock. Um, <laughs> this is going to be a longer video. But um, they'd probably change these out every uh, every day or every week or I don't know how that works. But So you'd always have fresh batteries, you know, if you were in the police or the military. But, and that wouldn't be an issue, um, the stuff I'm talking about. This is just kind of for civilian use. Anyway, here's the uh, the body. This I can't even feel. It's so light. But, um, so, yeah, that's kind of the insides. You got your tail cap. Oh, yeah, and let me put this together really quick again and... Uh, it's not hard to put together, take apart. It's, I mean, not that it should be. 
Oh, and it, also, um, if you don't screw these parts on really tight, I have had problems where a light won't turn on. Like, let me show you here. See if this is unscrewed a little bit. See? It won't turn on. Click, turn on there. And that's pretty much tight. So, um, I guess if you want to twist it so that you don't by accidentally turn the light on, that's good. But, you know, I mean, it's all preference. But anyway, you can do a tail stand like that. Um, it is a little unstable, but better than the, uh, the quark, which can't do it, because if you see the button on the quark protrudes out and the surefire doesn't, it got its uh, little, what do you call it, things here, the, uh, well, looks like the striking bezel, but that kind of keeps it up. And another feature is an anti-roll feature. Uh, on the front bezel, you'll see the squared off sections. You can lay that down and it's not going to roll on you. It's going to stop. The, um, the quark, it has to hit the clip. Like that. See, the quark could roll. So, just something to keep in mind. Um, let me show you the uh, back tail cap that I showed you earlier. Hopefully, I can upload longer videos. It said I can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. This, um, I don't know exactly who makes this tail cap. It says lightsaber on it. Lightsaber, not saber. Um, but this screws on the back. And now you're thinking, oh, well, that's just useless. It's another tail cap. Well, what's special about this one? Oh, hang on a second. Yeah, you know, hang on, let me try something. Oh, yeah, that's right. Forgot how to use it. This is only click on and off, okay? And it's like, well, that's useless. It doesn't even have a momentary on and off. Well, if you hold it, you get a strobe. Now, it's not an extremely fast strobe. I mean, let's see here if I can compare the two. Um, yeah, let's see. I forgot how to do it. Hang on, let's see. Yeah, here's a surefire strobe, okay? And now here's the quark strobe. This one's a whole lot faster than this. You can see this is more like a pulsating light. Um, but it would still do something. Let me blind myself with this for a second. Yeah, now see, the usefulness of a strobe is more like where even if it's not a quick strobe, if a, if a light's flat, like I'm just going to flash this myself here. This is just the uh, standard uh, quark. But if it's just flashing on and off. Like you can even do this with the, um, the Surefire's normal tail. Let me unscrew this here. I don't know why anybody would put up my reviews. They're so, like, crazy. Anyway, let me get this back in here. i got a big spot in my eye. I can't see. If you were just to blink the light, like, on and off, um, like, uh, pretty quick like this, um, it, it's the pulsating light that gets people confused instead of just a, a really bright light. Um, one thing I just noticed here, let me see if this is right. Yeah, all right, now see? With incandescent lights, it almost looks like when you just momentary flash on it has to turn on like you see it kind of it's almost like I, I can maybe tell it here a little bit more in person or maybe well maybe I'm wrong see it's almost like I don't know if it takes longer for the light to turn on or what because if you watch the two spots here's the sure the surefire sorry like that see how it almost looks like it a big spot comes and then it disappears and now the um the quark it's just a flash so I don't know if there's um this almost looks like the spot kind of, it's slower to turn on and off than the quark, which can just, you know, I don't know, I just noticed that. But, um, let's see here. What else do I got to talk about? I'm just rambling on. Uh, oh, I'm up to 13 minutes. Hopefully, my YouTube page said I could upload videos longer than 15 minutes, so this will be a test. Um, on the back it says, oops, I didn't show this, it says Surefire right there. Not that that's important. www.surefire.com. Got lanyard holes back here. Mm, sorry. Um, and uh, I think that's it. It's uh, it fits nice in your hand if you're holding in reverse. I guess reverse dagger grip or whatever. Um, it's easy to actuate. And I mean, if you would have to use this as an impact weapon, I don't want to go smashing stuff around here. I don't want to hit my computer up there. Um, you'd be able to hold this like um, really good. Or if you had it, let's say, turned on. And we're just searching around like this, you know, looking around like that. Um, that it, it's comfortable either way, and, you know, you can switch positions pretty quick. I mean, it is, and since it's so light, I mean, it's amazing how light this is. Because um, it's aluminum. I don't know if, I forget which one's lighter, the quark or the uh, surefire. But, um, anyway, so I think that's about it. You put up with me for almost 15 minutes here. Um, let's see, is there anything else I want to talk about? Oh, yeah, I got the sheep on my belt, but... I'm not going to take that off because I don't want to take my belt off. But you can, um, here, let me, let me see if I can find the cheese on 
sheeps, sorry, and share fires. Uh, let's see here on our website. Hang on a second. I'm looking. Parts, accessories, maybe? Yeah, flashlight holsters. Quick detach nylon holster, nylon fixed loop. Oh, they make a quick detach holster? You know, I sorry, I, I shouldn't be doing that. But, um, yeah, it doesn't look like they, uh, they got the picture I was looking for. But, um, but, yeah, so, anyway, um, oh, yeah, I did show, I normally compare stuff to my Endura. Here's my Endura. Here's a Surefire. Surefire is about, yeah, I'd say slightly longer than the handle. Maybe, like, minutely longer than the, uh, the Endura's handle. So, um, yeah, just slightly. So that'll kind of, if you got an Endura, it'll kind of give you a, a, a size reference. You know, here's the fold-up Endura, here's the Surefire. It's really compact. I mean, it's a compact light. Um, because it uses the 1-2P batteries, those are, oh, now it's 16 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. Um, these batteries are a lot more compact in, uh, in the light, let's say, then, and this will be the last thing, I promise. And I'll let you go. See what I'm saying? They're fatter, but they're shorter. So, you can make your light a lot shorter. It'll be fatter, if that makes sense. But it'll be, um, oops, wrong way. You can tell I'm, I just woke up and I'm hungry. I haven't had anything to eat. It's Saturday morning. I, anyway, um, but yeah, so your light's going to be a lot it's going to be rounder, but it's going to be shorter. So it's kind of a trade-off what you want. But yeah, I'll put the link in the uh, the description for that guy's video on the uh, the one two P batteries to uh, to kind of give you some information on those if you want. Anyway, so that's my uh, long review of the Surefire E two D Executive Defender. Um, the incandescent version. They do have an LED version. I don't have that. Um, oh, price on this is about uh, I believe it was one hundred and ten um, on our website somewhere. Where does it show? Yeah, 110. So um, it is kind of an expensive light, but um, you know, um, you do get the striking capability of it. So anyway, that's my review of the Surefire E2D Executive Defender. Hope you enjoyed it and put up with my long, almost 20-minute video. Anyway, Mr. Man, out.